Hi, my name is Gizem and this is a short video on the effects of the Vietnamese culinary culture in Australian cuisine. Vietnam is located on the eastern coast of Southeast Asia. It has an area of approximately 330,000 kilometers. In comparison, Australia has an area of 7.7 .7 million square kilometers. Around 85 to 90 percent of the population is ethnic Vietnamese. There are 53 other ethnic groups that are tribal people living in the mountain areas. The ethnic Chinese and the Montagnards are also in the minority groups. In 111 BC, the Chinese introduced frying techniques. Later on, the Viet people introduced yin yang balance of food. The Mongols brought beef dishes to the country, and the French introduced baguettes, teas, and coffee. Rice and noodles are the main staple of the Vietnamese diet. Vietnamese people consume plenty of vegetables along with fish and aquatic species. Depending on the season, broth and beef noodle soup are served with vegetables and consumed regularly. Supplementary foods include a dipping sauce present at every meal, fish sauce, light spices and sugar. Food preparation in Vietnamese culinary culture pays special importance to balancing the heating and cooling properties of ingredients. Following the number 5 rule is also used to prepare the food, for example, Five taste elements are always included in a dish, such as spice, salt, sour, bitter and sweet. Vietnamese cooking methods include using a wok to stir fry, deep fry and smoke foods, also used to make soups. Clay pots are commonly used in Vietnamese dishes for braising foods. Bamboo steamers are used for steaming dim sum, vegetables and fish. Vietnam has three distinct regional variations, North, South and Central Highlands, which have unique climates, culture and food. The north has a cooler climate, therefore heating properties of foods are used together with the Chinese influence. The south has a warmer climate, hence the cooling properties of food are used together with Thai influence. The central highlands has a mixture of two culinary cultures. 45% of the population in Vietnam have many different indigenous religions. The most popular religion is Buddhism at 16%, which has influenced vegetarian cooking styles. And second is Christianity at 8%, where the meat products are incorporated in the food. Vietnamese New Year follows the marking of the new lunar calendar. Special foods such as zoya are eaten for good luck. There's also the holiday of the dead where rice flour bowls are eaten at home. During the mid-autumn festival, mooncakes are consumed. Unusual foods include weasel dung coffee, snake and scorpion wines, duck embryo, raw blood soups, mouse, cat and dog meat. Vietnam is the world's second largest exporter of rice and is among the world's leading exporters of coffee, pepper and cashews. Aquaculture exportation includes mostly shrimp and crayfish. Here's the apparent consumption of key commodities. The main difference between Australia and Vietnam is that Australians consume more meat, whereas Vietnamese people consume more cereal. In 1976, Vietnamese refugees arrived in Darling Harbour via boat. In 1983, Australia agreed to 15,000 Vietnamese migration per year. By 2011, Australia had more than 68,000 Vietnamese born Australians. Australians were first exposed to Vietnamese cuisine through restaurants established in suburbs with Vietnamese immigrants. Vietnamese cuisine has influenced Australia in a broader sense as Australians were exposed to signature dishes on MasterChef. SBS featured Luke Nugent's Vietnam. There are many Vietnamese street foods and restaurants in Australia such as Rold. And the Travelling Kitchen Cooking Incursion exposes Australian children to Vietnamese rice paper rolls regularly. These are my references. Thanks for watching.